And, um, boy, this didn't last long. And with, um, with Quest, another uh, text adventure, my uh, text adventure game, I'm probably going to end up having to do that as well. I'm probably just going to end up having to actually sit down and actually read the tutorial. The original plan was, um, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta kill the music real quick. The original plan on this was gonna be to just, I thought it'd be something that I could work on designing a game and have a tutorial in the background at the same time. I thought I'd be able to do this the same way I'd be able to do any other video game I've ever played throughout my life. You know, just pick up and play. If I'm stuck on something, just switch over to the web browser or whatever page I have going at the time, read through like hotkeys or whatever, or you know, whatever information I need, pick, grab that, go back to the game, get out of my sticking point and then continue, you know, that kind of thing. But I think the way this is looking right now, the way the whole game design thing is, I'm gonna need to actually uh, set time aside to just read the stuff, read it all up, kind of study, kind of study up, so I'm definitely starting to understand now why um, game design is basically a scholarly pursuit, like something you'd have to go to college for, because you pretty much have to, pretty much have to study all this. Because, like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to design a game the way I play a game, just jump in, get some action going, and then if I got a problem somewhere, go on the browser and look it up. But I don't, it doesn't seem like you can really do this with game design. So, and like I said, I was going to go on Quest, the uh, text, ad my text adventure, but I got a feeling it's going to look that way over there as well. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and switch over to Final Fantasy XIV. But <laughs> that didn't take long. I thought I'd be able to do this for about an hour, but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> 